Okay, you know who I am. Um, I, to add on to that, I would, I would say that actually for, for my research, I didn't present the boys and the girls. I presented the whole population. But I had roughly equal boys and girls, and they were equally involved in gang violence and gang offending than the boys were. Their psychopathology was slightly different. They had more emotional problems and less inattention and hyperactivity and conduct problems. But uh, we only had 10 minutes, so I couldn't say, it, say too much. But certainly I uh, completely agree it's, it's an important issue. I think what the thing for me that's come up through the talks is the issue of trauma. And I, I, I find it a really fascinating subject because often uh, I've, I've probably worked in forensic CAMS work for a long, far too long. But um, I think one of the things we forget is that um, the perpetrators of crime are often traumatised by their own criminal behaviour and their own the outcomes of their own crime. And often when they come into A&E, that is, as, as John and um, James have, have said, that sort of teachable, that, that teachable moment, that moment that you can really get in. And I think that's so important. But... But it's also made me think a bit about when they do come in, what do we treat? Should we treat them differently? Should we um, devise um, treatments and care pathways specifically for this group, or should it be the same as everyone else, or delivered in another way? And it reminded me of a young person we've been treating with um, ADHD, who's a gang member, and did really well on on his concert to Ritalin, and he and. Um, managed to focus at school, went back to school, wasn't being excluded anymore, was focusing on conversations, was happier, but at the same time the hypermasculinity that was respected in the gang was going was was decreasing and therefore his respect in the gang was decreasing and therefore he didn't want to take the medication anymore, despite the fact that he became a better criminal on the medication because he was able to focus and not act so impulsively and make sure that you know, you could, could see when the police were around and things like that. It was less impulsive. So he risked getting caught more. He risked a, a higher criminal, rest, a, you know, more criminal record. But, but that type of masculinity is really prized. And is that something... Are, are our, I suppose my question is, are our treatments the right treatments for this group? I 